often entrepreneurs kind of say, yes, we have to get that and that amount of money to actually take the company off the ground. For the lack of a better word, I find that's often BS. You don't need to raise money. You need to actually to get the product going. You don't need to go the traditional way like VC investment and all that stuff. I know that's the easy answer, uh, that's the typical answer, but uh, that's not the only answer. East White Hills Road, the edge of town in St. John's, home to the usual mix of warehouses and industrial buildings. But if you look closely, you'll see something unusual, a sort of cage made out of fishing nets. It's a low-tech test site for a high-tech invention. Hi, my name is Armin Strobel, and I'm a founder and CEO of Strobel Tech. And we build special kind of autonomous drone systems which take off on land from a docking station. Inventor, immigrant, and entrepreneur, Armin Strobel has a PhD in drone swarming. But he doesn't do the flying. Yeah, you're good to go. He gives the green light to an engineer back in the office who's watching the cage by remote camera. But she doesn't fly the drone either. She just presses the button. Yeah, so the docking station just opened. I think I hear it spinning up right now. We have a few seconds. And then it goes, comes out here. It launches itself. It flies itself. It performs pre-programmed missions with no pilot at the controls. And then it does the really cool part. There you see actually coming a funnel out to recover the drone. Yeah, so it landed in the docking station and the drone will be automatically recharged. Is that a successful test flight? Absolutely. No, every flight where we land in a docking station and gets recharged afterward is a successful flight. It didn't go always like this. I stopped counting prototypes by 25. It quite evolved a bit, bigger size, smaller size, and the company grew now quite a bit. We have went from a hobby project to one-man company, basically, where I was not sure if it's going to lead anywhere, where it was already multiple times looking for a job, to actually a company where we're growing and we're actually looking for people to join us. Drones are big business, and there are many drones on the market with their own docking stations. The problem is most commercial drones are kind of delicate and finicky. This one is built for Newfoundland and Labrador. You can launch it from the back of a truck without getting out of the cab. Most drones need four rotors to fly, any one of which can break or hurt someone. Strobel's drone flies with just one rotor, safely shielded behind a tough outer shell. And most docking stations are much bigger and even more finicky than the actual drone. Strobel Tech's landing funnel may look a little funny, but on a windy day, it works. And that's what matters to the users Strobel has in mind. So there's a whole bunch of end users. I mean, it goes from military applications down to security, down to uh, agriculture, for search and rescue, for inspection. We have some interest in certain fields, but that's not the end actually of it. There's uh, lots more. There's a huge boom in tech companies launching in St. John's, and Strobel says his company is part of that story. But in some ways, they're flying solo designing, building, and testing it all themselves, focused on the invention instead of investors. You don't really need to raise lots of money to actually get things going. I think it's often holding back entrepreneurs actually to do something. You, you don't need to go the traditional way. You can always make, make your hobby uh, to a job, actually. It's an unusual approach, but at Strobel Tech, unusual is how they fly. Zach Gowdy, CBC News, St. John's.